All right, we're going to take a look at AMRAMs. Um, we need something bound here that's pretty important. Options, controls, uh, configure add-ons, Super Hornet. You need to make sure that you have bound throttle designation controller up, down, left, right, and depress. Up, down, left, and right will slew your TAD or your targeting cursor around your radar page, and then depress will lock what you have it slewed on top of. <clears throat> In here, uh, this is our radar, uh, airborne radar page, and I've got it set as soy, as you can tell by the diamond there. I'll turn it off, back on. Now it's soy. I can slew this targeting gate around. All right, right here, this number says 20. That means right now the radar is ranged out to 20 miles. You can use the OSBs here to range it even further out to 40, or to range it back in all the way down to five. Now you can also slew the tad up to the top of the radar and once it goes off the top of the page it'll automatically range out to the next uh, range so it just went to 10 I'm gonna keep slewing it now it's at 20 and if I slew it back down it will go back to 10 okay so the name of the game is to get the enemies on this radar and lock them up and then we'll get some new symbology on the HUD that we'll work with this guy right here this diamond that's a friendly as indicated by green uh, ambiguous or unknown targets are yellow and then uh, known hostiles are red I'm not a hundred percent sure in the mod right now if it does actually do red targets or if it's just gonna show everybody as yellow except friendlies All right, we're looking for targets and now there I've got a target that's an ambiguous I'm gonna shorten my radar up there he is he's right there about 10 miles because I'm on the 20 mile range and he's near that middle hash mark I'm going to lock him up, and he's locked, and now the symbology here on the radar changes. Uh, turn towards him and then pause it real quick and talk about the symbology. Okay, again, sorry for this block. The diamond is our target. 10.2 range from us. 420 VC is our closure rate, so we're, not, we're currently closing at 420 knots. Um, the ring right here this is our targeting ring and what will happen is from the top here this um, is going to slowly unspool around this way this little tail right here you can't quite see but it'll slowly unspool around this way um, once it unspools past this diamond here this diamond will shift a little bit once it unspools past then the target will say in lar and that stands for in launch acceptable range that means that we can fire on him, and if he was not to maneuver at all um, or evade, we would get a hit. Um, the ticker will continue to unspool all the way down until it gets to this diamond here and passes this diamond. Once it passes this diamond, uh, the inlar will start flashing, and that's what's known as range no escape. That means if we launch when we're inlar and it's flashing, even if he maneuvers aggressively, the missile is very likely to hit him. Now, as we close distance even further, the uh, thing will continue to unspool all the way to there, and that would be minimum range. You wouldn't be able to fire once it passes there. So the idea is lock him up, hold him as close to the center of this as we can, and wait for us to get in LAR, and even a bonus if we can get him into a flashing in LAR. So I will unpause, and we'll go ahead and start closing. We're at 9 miles, uh, 370 closure rate. And you'll see at the very, at the 12 o'clock of the targeting reticle is that foot that will start unspooling. There we go. In LAR, so we're now in launch acceptable range at 8 miles. If we let that thing unspool all the way to that arrow on the lower uh, left of the circle there, we'll be guaranteed a hit. However, in ARMA, we're pretty much guaranteed a hit right now. Um, but we'll go ahead and wait anyway. That's him locking us. He fired. We're in LAR. So I'm going to fox on him. Now I'm going to aggressively maneuver away, try and defeat his missile, although he had to jump on us pretty good there, so I can see smoke, so we got a good hit there. He is down. Right. And something else that's very useful, when you are in, uh, have your AMRAM up and you're just searching, this ring right here is essentially a flood mode, and you can dumb fire a AMRAM out in front of you 
and as long as there's a target within 10 miles, that AMRAM will go pit bull and go track that target. So you can see we've got an enemy uh, or an ambiguous out there. Uh, looks like he's a, almost seven miles. We do not have a radar lock. So I'm just gonna launch two right out that direction. I'm gonna immediately defend. And again, there is no lock there. And as you can Roll see, up. that's a splash out there. That is one dead bogey. So that's very useful um, to use that flood mode. However, uh, the missile will go pit bull and it does not differentiate between friendly and enemy. So you'd never want to do that if there's any possibility of any sort of friendly or uh, civilian aircraft in front of you. So uh, all the AMRAM that we've covered so, much, so far is what's known as Beyond Visual Range or BVR. Now we're going to look at ACM or air combat um, mode. And there are three different configurations. There's more in the real aircraft, but just in ARMA, there's three different configurations. So uh, using sensor control switch, which we've covered in a previous video, but we'll just show really quick in the controls. Uh, you're going to want to bind it here. Sensor control switch up, down, left, right. That's what you use to do your screen soy, etc. When you're in the AMRAM, you can press sensor control switch up twice. All right, and now our radar is no longer functioning and we are in an ACM mode. This one is called boresight mode. Okay, this small circle right here, if there's any enemy or any aircraft within that small circle ranging all the way out to 20 miles, they will be locked up. Okay, that's how boresight works in the Hornet. This is similar to boresight, but it's longer and it's got a semi active radar. So, this uh, the radar scans very quickly left, right, left, right, left, right, up and down. It takes quite a while to scan. So, if there is somebody out to 10 miles within that circle, they would be locked up. All right, and then the last mode is um, VSI, and I guess I should say that I'm using the sensor control switch left right and up to switch between these modes okay so vertical scan mode scans between these lines from about uh, about right here where your um, targeting indicator is it scans between those lines all the way up to about here okay it gives you a high vertical scan right off your um, your front of your nose and that is very useful for turn fighting and dog fighting like if you're in a turn fight and the bandits up here somewhere that radar will pick him up and lock him up there okay we've got a short example of that we'll link uh, here in just a second now all that said I did a fair amount of testing and I would not at all recommend right now either boresight mode or the wider um, wide acquisition is what this usually is but that's not what it's called in arma i wouldn't recommend either one of these they would lock enemies for me but i was like inside of five and four miles when i could get them to lock and that's just not right you, you should be getting them in, at 20 and 10 miles respectively the vsi a uh, vertical scan mode did work uh fairly well for me in a dog fight and i'll show that right now then we'll move on to the 9x The AIM-9 family of missiles is a short-range heat-seeking missile, uh, about five-mile range. <clears throat> if you listen, you can hear the growl there. That is the seeker head searching for a target. This dashed circle right here is an indication of the seeker head's area that it's looking. And it's as simple as placing an airplane within that circle. Uh, and being within that five mile range or inside of it and we will get a change in missile tone and we'll get a shoot cue. So let's go ahead and go towards these enemies, listen for the change in tone. There you go, there's the change in tone, the shoot cue. We'll go ahead and fire on him and we're assuredly going to get a hit. These are fairly lethal, close range. Now, I know in the AMRAM video I did talk about how I wasn't happy with the ACM modes, and I'm still not completely thrilled with the ACM uh, flood mode with these um, infrareds, but the v VSI works really well with these missiles. Um, 
because you're typically in a close range dogfight when you're using this. So I've got the VSI up. Roll Let's get into a bit of a turn up. fight here. And there we go. We've already locked a guy that was way up off of our high 12. There he goes right there. I'm going to let him escape to the left a little. And let's let him go by because I want to demonstrate how high off the HUD we can get the lock on him. Okay, see, they're way up there off my HUD. Way out of range. And uh, we'll go for this lower guy. Just keep turning. Once we get into the turn fight, you'll see we'll get him locked up way up Roll there. Up. Roll right. Just keep pulling, keep pulling, keep pulling. And we should get a lock here shortly. There, see he's locked right there, way off foresight. He's already locked. We can pull him into the HUD. Fire, and that's going to be a kill. The flood mode also worked a little bit uh, better in this, but it was throwing an error for me. Um, so I wouldn't fully recommend it. All right, the last thing that I want to demonstrate on this uh, AIM-9 is the helmet-mounted sight and the ability of the AIM-9X specifically. It has a really, really insane maneuvering ability. It can take really, really high off-bore sight shots successfully. So I've got my helmet-mounted sight on. Um, that helmet-mounted sight is right there, HMD, if you want to control or turn it on for helmet-mounted device. You'll see now I've got all the symbology on my HUD. And that little circle there is uh, essentially a bore sight or the radar bore sight. So I can place that circle onto this bandit way off bore sight, uh, either way off here to the left, I could lock him up or up high like that. And uh, if we're in, you know, 160 degrees or so, that missile will turn and track on him. So I'm going to lock him up just by looking at him. See there, I've got the shoot cue, I've got a lock, I'll fire. And that missile came way up there and got him. I'll do the same thing over here now as he goes down. Try and turn and make a hard side uh, aspect shot. There we go. You can see that's pretty far outside of our HUD and he's running and it still hit him again. One more. Way off the side. That missile will track. We'll turn and track on him. So the helmet mounted sight, specifically with the AIM-9X, is really deadly in a dogfight. Also does work with the AMRAMs, um, but they have nowhere near the maneuvering ability. However, if somebody was, say, out here, you could, you could go ahead and lock them.